Hi, I'm Jim White with Dell EMC. I'm going to demonstrate for you today EdgeX working on a Dell Gateway. So what we have here today is a collection of various devices speaking different protocols. I've got a Pat Light that speaks SNMP. I've got an analog device's blip camera, which through the camera detects a number of people that are in the room. We also have a Biconix thermostat connected to a couple of different uh, HVAC simulating blades for cooling, cooling and heating. The Biconix thermostat speaks back then. So several different protocols being used, all collecting sensor data, providing that to EdgeX, running on two various Dell gateways. We've got a Dell Gateway 5000 as well as a Dell Gateway 3000. In this particular case, to demonstrate the distributed nature of EdgeX, we've got all of our, what we call device, device services running on the Dell 3000. We've got all the other services for EdgeX running on the Dell Gateway 5000. And again, you could run the services from EdgeX on any particular platform, be it ARM, Intel, any OS. This just demonstrates how we can distribute EdgeX across a multitude of resources. So let's take a look at EdgeX in action how it actually commands and controls devices, as well as how it brings data in and determines what's going on and then actuates back down on the data that it reads. So in this first example, let me actually command and control the pat light. We're gonna go out to a little dashboard that we at Dell created, and we can see by this dashboard what devices are actually physically connected at this point to EdgeX running on our gateways. So we've got the pat light, the blip camera, and the Viconix thermostat. In particular, I'm gonna go ask for information about the Pat Light. And EdgeX is providing my user interface display with what are the statuses of the red, green, and amber lights. Let's go ahead and actually actuate now that particular device. So I'm gonna ask EdgeX to turn on the red Pat Light signal. So we'll apply that. And now we see that EdgeX is actually with the command and control facility sent a signal down to what is called our device service. The device service then actuates via SNMP onto the pat light to turn the light on. In a similar fashion, EdgeX is making readings of all of the sensors. So in particular, I can ask it to give me the occupancy data from our blip camera. So we actually see the number of people that that camera is reading across time. And again, that data is being brought up into the services of EdgeX, in particular what's called core data, and making that information available to the rest of the EdgeX services or to things like a rules engine. And in fact, if we take a look at EdgeX, built into EdgeX is a rules engine capability. We're using Drools as an open source capability to fire off based on data that it sees coming into our core data service, rules that then may actuate various devices. And in this example set, anytime the occupancy is greater than zero, based on what that camera sees, it fires a rule that actually sets the cooling point, in other words, sets the air conditioner simulator on via that Viconix thermostat. So when we actually watch in our demonstration here, as data comes through, anytime that count becomes zero, we actually see, or greater than zero, we actually see the blue fan come on to the Viconix thermostat. If I was to actually cover, or in this case, I'll tip the camera down so that it can't see anything or anyone, we'd actually see that rule fire and shut off that particular cooling uh, thermostat so that to simulate the idea that we no longer need air conditioning because there's not as many people in the room. So EdgeX provides both data collection as well as command and control and actuation back down to devices. EdgeX is a microservice architecture, so what you've seen through our demonstration today is a collection of various device services, in this particular case an SNMP, a serial connected blip camera, and a backnet thermostat. And we also saw, again, the data coming up through core data, as well as command and control being actuated back down both to our 
SNMP pet light and as we just saw here uh, to things like our thermostat and the uh, fans that are connected to the thermostat rules engine that helps trigger that we have a whole other host of collection of services in edgex that provide for those facilities you need at the edge for both actuation command and control as well as monitoring and managing all of the edge equipment to prevent latency of having to send all that data up to your cloud and actuate back down again jim white with dell emc if you need other assistance or more questions answered, please feel free to contact me. At james underscore white2 at dell.com.